Okay. Oh my god, those poor people. Lucky that chopper didn't kill us off. <laughs> I don't feel so lucky. <laughs> We need to get off the tower before the raptors bring it down. The emergency ladder's right there. The way the tower is tilting, it will put us down outside the paddock. Well, that's a start, but the fence isn't much of an obstacle for the raptors. Where do we go once we're out? I think we can make it to the utility tunnels, right over there. We can lock the raptors out if we can beat them inside. I hope you're right. Let's get that ladder lowered. <laughs> Try the latch? The latch, right, of course. That should free it up. <laughs> it still won't move. It's brand new, so it might still be a little stiff. Maybe if you put more weight on it? What, you mean stand on it? Yes, ride it down. Okay, but we should probably be ready to move as soon as it comes down, so we can stick together. Sweetheart, listen. I want you to be ready to climb down the ladder as soon as it's extended. Okay, Dad. Dr. Sorkin! I'll be right down. Uh, it's really stuck. Oh, no, I see the problem. The whole ladder is just slightly bent. It can't slide freely. We might be able to force it. it must have been the crash. Looks that way. I think we're gonna need a crowbar or something to get it open. Oh, well then we're gonna have to get creative because there are no tools up here. Antenna could be just the thing we need to pry the ladder open. But if I try to grab it now, I could get electrocuted. We have to get down from here! Dr. Sorkin, that antenna is the only thing up here I've seen that we can use to pry the ladder open. Is there any way to turn the power of those lights off so I can grab it? Not from up here. The aircraft alert beacons aren't ever supposed to be disabled. The best I can do is make them flash on and off. Ah. I can switch them from nighttime to daytime operation. They shine continuously at night, but during the day they flash to provide more contrast. Okay, I've switched the beacon lights to daytime mode. Hopefully that wire won't be live while the lights flash off. I couldn't move it by jumping on it, I'm never going to be able to pry it by myself. Dr. Sorkin? Yes? Can you give me a hand with this? You pry while I put my weight on the ladder. Certainly. Okay, Dr. Sorkin, I'm ready. Jess, honey, you get ready to move as soon as the ladder goes down. I'm ready, Dad. Just hurry! Okay, Dr. Sorkin, on three. Ready? One, two, three! You gotta be freaking kidding me! Dad, what are we gonna do? Try again! On three! Ready? One! Two! Three! No! Just wait! 
Turn, Dr. Sorkin. Right, I'm coming down. <laughs> Dr. Sorkin, you have to hurry. Out of the way, I'm gonna jump for it. Thanks. Okay, now up and over. Come on, they're right behind you! Dr. Harding, the door! Headache like this, there better be tequila involved. No way, amigo. This turned out better than the last time you drank tequila. Yeah, you might be right. The girl I woke up next to is prettier, anyway. <laughs> How'd she make it out? But first, I gave her a push. I'm surprised you take the time to rescue her, what with how nice she was to you and all. Who says it was a rescue? So, we lost our ride, and the only person we managed to rescue so far doesn't even work for InGen. Now what? See if you can find anything useful in the wreck. And make sure the girl's okay while I scout the perimeter. Ah, damn it, I left my AK inside the chopper. It's probably toast. Glad I didn't leave a round chambered. Could have killed someone. That makes two of us, amigo. Still, the cook-off was a hell of a show. I should see if the girl's okay. Oscar might want to talk to her when she wakes up. Let's postpone that little reunion. I have a can just like this back in San Jose. Oh, man. I hope it's not for her face. Heavier than I remember. Could just be full, I guess. It's only sloshing at the top. Sounds half empty, feels full. Why is that? My stepbrother used to store his second set of keys in a fake pop can. I wonder... A lady has a secret stash. But what the hell is it? That shaving cream can is some pretty nice handiwork. Just who the hell are you working for, lady? power unit to fix her this time. Better keep checking her out. She's gonna blow. We don't want to be anywhere nearby. <sighs> no fuel left. Must have been a hell of a blast. Looking pretty safe. One more look, just to be sure. All our weapons were in there. I was just getting used to that AK, too. That chopper's done all the exploding she's ever gonna do. Should be safe to make camp here. T-Rex. 
it's leaving. Damn it, Oscar. I only have one pair of pants. The chopper's not gonna blow, but just about everything in it, including our weapons, is flame broiled. No game trails, no nests. This is base camp for now. Hey, get this. I found this can of shaving cream in her pack. Didn't think you needed any. Yeah, whatever you say, fuzzy. Except it's not really shaving cream. Look. Hmm. So, now what's the plan? Are you gonna try to salvage this gig? Yeah. I'm gonna go look for our friends. Uh, shouldn't I come with? We lost the guns. Means I gotta be in stealth mode. <laughs> you saying I can't sneak? Say it, neither one of us can sneak and watch her at the same time. Besides, she won't talk with me around. But maybe pretty boy Billy can get her to open up. Yeah, it's a tough job. Stand here all day. You're right, huh? We should get moving. 